Hello everyone. Welcome back to Michelle's Place. As you can tell from the title, it is a Dollar Tree Dollar General haul. If you would like to see what it is that I have gotten here and what it is that I found in my Dollar Tree store and my Dollar General store, stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Listen, before we get into this haul, let me just say a few things. One, if you are new to my channel and you are just stopping by that means we share some of the same interests and i would like to welcome you and thank you for doing so um some of my interests are housekeeping home decor shopping halls family events diys being just overall creative and if you stop by those are some of your same interests as well. I am a housewife at this moment, and I um, absolutely love being one. I am a mother of 10 and a grandmother of 16, and I they are my joy. So, let's get started. So, grab yourself a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever it is that you feel that you need to have to participate with this video. Or to view this video, I should say. So I grabbed my um, hot chocolate. And this is what's in here. But I thrifted this mug during the um, Merry Thriftmas with Secondhand Tracy Ann. I absolutely love anything Christmas. So you guys, sit back, grab yourself a sip, and get ready to enjoy. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do the Dollar General um, haul first because it is a lot more of the Dollar Tree items. So I'm going to get started with Dollar General. Let me put on my spectacles, as they call them, so I could be able to see these prices. Okay, so the first thing that I have here from the Dollar General is this table runner and it's a plaid runner and it's going to go well with my christmas decor in my den because it's like a cabinish winterish theme and i absolutely love plaid anyway so it's plaid and this was six dollars and the size of this table runner is 13 inches by 68 inches so it's going to be kind of big for my coffee table but i'm gonna fold it in half I think I'm going to embroider the edge of it because this is the end of the runner. And I kind of want to deck it out a little bit. So I'm probably going to do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so the other thing I got from the Dollar General is this two-pack coffee cups and tumbler. Uh, it is It was a dollar, which is a good deal. And it says, all I want for Christmas is coffee. That's that mug. I don't know if they both say the same thing, so I'm getting ready to open it for you guys to see. And we'll know in a second together. Yeah, all I want for Christmas is coffee. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Although hot chocolate will probably be in here more than coffee because I'm a hot chocolate drinker during the winter. Um, so yeah, that's probably what's going to go in here more. Alright, so the other thing that I grabbed from the Dollar General, I actually have more than one bag. I'm just going to separate all these Dollar Tree bags, honey, because it's a lot of them. And I'm just going to say this, Craft Today with Rita Renee. Rita, this your fault. This all your fault. I, I blamed it on you. <laughs> insider people, insider. Okay, so they had these little cute ornaments. Oh my God, Buffalo Check. You guys have been watching my channel uh, for a while. If you have, then you know I love, absolutely love Buffalo Check. Um, this is a little cute snowman, and it was only for a dollar. I don't need my glasses for this. I can see these pretty clear. Okay, so that was a dollar. And I bought two of them. So there's two snowmen. Right here. Alright. 
And then I have, I bought some pom-poms, little pom-poms, because I intend to use these. I bought me some seasonal scissors. They're two pair, you know, for cutting wrapping paper and um, doing crafts with it, cutting up, you know, a little ribbon or whatever. I also bought this uh, ribbon. It's a truck ribbon. And as you've seen in my Christmas in July, which I will put an eye card up, um, I love the farm, the red truck, and I love the uh, Christmas tree. That's how I do my entryways. It's in the red truck decor, and it has the farm truck and the trees and all of that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. But I paid $2 for this, and this um, is a 2.5-inch by nine feet so it's nine feet long and two inch two and a half inches wide okay guys so here's here's something i am on a hunt for another one of these isn't he just adorable it's called the mini deer it's the mini deer and the thing is i saw one there there was actually two i'm gonna try to balance it there were actually two of these but the other one would not stand up. It kept falling. And I probably could have DIY'd it, but I wasn't going to break my neck to do that. So, um, this one was $2. And the other thing, you guys, I love Buffalo Check, but I absolutely love reindeer. Absolutely love them. And you will see that in my Christmas decor this year. I did it last year, so when I do do my, um, videoing of last year's Christmas or uh, um, this year's Christmas decor and while I decorate my tree and stuff I will be inserting videos of my setup of last year it's gonna be somewhat similar but a little bit different also I went to the Dollar General I know the Dollar Tree has these but to save time I went and got um, the ones that's already uh, frosted or frothed or painted because they're a dollar for one, and the Dollar Tree does have these, but I would have to paint them. Now, unless I come across some in the Dollar Tree that have already been done, then, you know, I grab those just in case. Okay, so here's something else that I got. I just want to make sure that this is the last that I got from the Dollar General. Because I have quite a bit from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. From what I can see, that's the last of the Dollar General. If I come across anything else, I will let you know. Well, I should say this is the last. Tell me these are not the cutest. They were a dollar a piece, you might as well say, because they were $3 for the set. Look at there. Buffalo check. Okay. And then this on top. So my kitchen is actually red, white, and black. That's the colors in my kitchen. I absolutely love those colors. I've loved those colors for several years now and so um the farmhouse part of it is the rooster i love roosters i'm sorry i just do so that's basically my thing but there's something new that i'm gonna do for christmas this year i haven't done it in quite some time i used to always put up a tree in my kitchen but i hadn't done it in a couple of years so this year it's going up in my kitchen but for three dollars you can't beat that Okay, farmhouse alert. Tell me that's not cute. You know this is absolutely adorable. You cannot tell me it's not. There's no way you can. I love it, okay? The buffalo check ribbon, then it says season's greetings, and then I get a double whammy. You want to see what the double whammy? The car or the truck with the tree hanging out. Guys. And it's a milk jug, and it is $4, okay? It's $4. Then I came across this. So I'm up in the air in my brain, thinking of a DIY that I can do with this. I got an idea of what I'm going to do and where I'm thinking about it, but it's some other things that's going to... You guys will have to wait and see. Anyway... I bought these pails. You guys, when I saw them, I was so psyched. Love them. Love them. And they were $3 a piece. So 
So sister girl grabbed her too. Because once again, I got a DIY in mind. Let me put the plastic between it because I don't want it to get scratched. And yes, ma'am. She's coming. Don't worry. She ready. Okay. All right. So, disclaimer. This all back here behind me is what I'm going to haul for you guys. That is my secret shame. It really is my secret shame. This is, I'm sitting in the middle of my, I'm in my living room, and one of my sofas is full with nothing but bags and bags of things from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Big Lot, Five Hours Below. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, back to this. All right, so Dollar Tree. Rita Renee, it's your fault. I told you it was your fault. I found this sign that I absolutely love. Look at that. That's cute. But here's the thing. I love Santa, and he's all sparkly and everything. I might keep it because it says Happy Holidays. Now, what I'm thinking is about doing with this is a DIY. But I might just keep it the way it is. I'm not sure yet. And you will have to stay tuned to see. Okay, real talk. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> okay, so I bought me some of these bulbs. Because, of course, I'm going to use them in a DIY. These are the glitter ones. And as you well know, they were a dollar. And it's 16 pieces. So 16 little bulbs. Ornament bulbs. And then I have the matte kind. Okay. And as I said before, there are 16 pieces of these as well. Then I bought some berries because I'm using these in DIYs. Also, because I had to pick through these berries really good because a lot of them, like you can see right here, a couple of them are white where the paint has rubbed off or the berry has pulled apart. And um, I have an idea of what I'm going to do to fill that in. Besides using paint, because that would be an easy, easy solution. This is not Christmas related. I bought a can opener. It ain't got nothing to do with Christmas. But I bought a can opener. I'm sorry, I did. I needed one. It was a quick one. Okay, so this is two. There's two of these. Okay. My intention is to do a DIY with them. So stay tuned. I think you'll like it. I was actually looking for the witch's hat. Could not find it. So I, that came up, so that's what I used. I don't want to knock you guys over. Okay, so on to the next. I have some white berries here because I'm using it for a DIY. I just lost my train of thought because I couldn't remember. Then I just remembered what it was I was using it for. I have the hiccups. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, so... I have these uh, glitter picks, which are also tangled up with um, pipe cleaner. But I have these gold glitter picks. I have them like that because I was doing a DIY. Um, I have a couple of these. Um, I just, they're mixed up, so. Um, I have a couple of the Merry Christmas trucks. Okay. I have some of these wooden stockings. Wait till you see what I do with these guys. I think you're going to love them. I have the wooden stockings. Also, I have this ornament here. I got some, um, some little jingle bells. I have them in silver, too, so just in case I don't find them. Because, again, I was doing some DIYs. I'm getting stuff all over my clothes. I didn't want to do that. And I also have two of these on there. Okay. I just want you to see this too. And let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, pipe cleaners that you just seen that are open. And then I have this gold ribbon with the gold tree on it. I loved it. I have the wooden stocking, like I said. And everything is mixed up because I've gone on different days. I have this Farm Fresh um, 
wooden sign. Love it. And it says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, Pine Spruce, and Spur. And it was a dollar. I got it from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have some of these stickers. As I said, DIYs are being done. So stay tuned for the videos. Um, I also have this bell. Okay, I have the stencils. Let it snow on the front of this one. And then it has the uh, frosty, it has a penguin, um, it has a hat, a snowflake, as you guys can see, skates, a hot chocolate. I love that one. Uh, different, A bigger snowflake. And then on the front, as again, it says let it snow, and I got these from the Dollar Tree. And then on the front of this one, it says season's greetings. And then on the back, it has the candy cane, the Christmas tree, the candle, the bells, um, the things, you know, the little holly bush. I love those. And I'm using these for arts and crafts for my grandchildren. So, stay tuned to that, too, because me and my daughter like to do DIYs with our grands. And this year is her first year to do something with her daughter, grandbaby number 16. And um, she will be... <laughs> doing her own stock in a tradition that I started 35 years ago because my oldest daughter is 35 and I have made a stock in every year um, for her and her siblings and then the grandchildren. So it's a tradition. Okay, so I have four of these. I kind of think hubby got into one. That's what I'm thinking because I can't find it. And then again, it may be in another bag. So... But I got four of these, and oh, there's only three there. Um, I have several of the garland ties, DIYs, 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 as well as the garland ties if you are going to do a banister, uh, fireplace, uh, mantle, a door frame, anything that's going to fill in the spaces, these are great for that. And I have several packs of them. I can't even tell you how many I got. I grabbed as many as I could, and I probably will go out today and buy more because I have a lot of DIYs that are going to need to use the uh, sprigs for, or the garland uh, things, garland wraps for. Gosh, my brain. Okay. All right. I got some of these balls, and they are 15 in them, and they're a little bit bigger. So these are going on DIYs, and some are going to be used in my tree. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go with this bag here. So, in this bag, I have the silver pick. The silver pick is in here. I've cut it. It's It was bigger than this. I used it for DIY guys. As I told you, more sprays. Um, as I said, DIYs. Uh, let's see. I used this ribbon. It was from the Dollar Tree. And this ribbon, Dollar Tree, as you know. And this is a snowflake. And the other one was just a shimmery silver ribbon. And then I have the solid gray. Now, this I really, really love. The color of it and everything. But it says believe on it. And they're all nine feet, as you well know. Um, this pick, also, I think I have two more of these. So, but yeah, this is a pick. I'm confused. The branches, like, that's the back of the pick. And this is the front, I'm assuming. Or vice versa. Okay, I have two more of them. They'll probably show up in one of these bags. Uh, let's see. Oh, as I said, I have the silver bell. And I use it in a DIY. I've got some bling wrap, but this is a piece of it. That was really unnecessary blooper. Um, I got some of these pearls. Too. They make great um, pieces when you're trying to fill in something or even they can look really well on a, on a pond setter. You could put it in the center if you want to glam it out. Put some uh, Mod Podge on it and Epsom salt or some silver glitter or whatever your decor is. You could use that uh, to do it with. 
okay? My dress. Okay. Let's get on to the next thing. All right. And again, some more of the wooden little stickers for the grands. Um, okay. Put that there for a minute. I have these two little ornaments. I may change them. Seriously thinking about it. It has like the um, burlapy feel to it. So, I don't know. I might change it. I might not. I don't know yet. Oh, let's see. I have this ornament. And this one. They're the same. They're sisters. I have... Okay, so these are different. I have this ornament. Okay, with the buffalo check in red and black. I have... To unhook this because it somehow got hooked. Okay, I have this ornament. Okay, I like that. It just says Merry Christmas. I thought that was cute. I bought a few of these sleds. Okay, I have the Christmas tree ornament again. Okay, and then I bought a couple of these sleds. I'm gonna have to fix them, a couple of them because they just fell apart. So this is what it looks like with the buffalo check ribbon. It's cute. I thought it was pretty good for a dollar. And this one is the one that's missing everything. <laughs> so I just hot glued that back on there. That's not nothing major. As I said, here go the little sprig here. It fell off. But that's okay. It's easily repairable. Okay. Then I have another car. Like I told you, some of this stuff is spread out. Another car. I'm trying to keep it neat. Because I'm going to have to clean all of this stuff up and put it away. I'm somewhat starting to decorate, but I'm not really starting to decorate. Here go another one of those. I've been using them. Ooh. I thought this was really cute. Wrong store. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Dollar Tree. Red um, glitter ribbon. I was looking for that last night. Could not figure out where I put it at. Uh, another ornament. Another one. I thought this was adorable. That is so freaking cute. I'm going to glitz it up a little bit. I like it. But I'm not really... I want to do something to it. So I like that. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. I think this is... Yeah, that's the wrong store. Here's another car. Another reindeer. And then I bought... I, I bought some during the fall. Um, if you see my... Um, fall Lantern Challenge that was hosted by uh, Kenya Decor Corner. I um, used this ribbon. And I am so glad that there's still some around. Because I have several rolls. And I intend to use them for something... Some DIYs that I'm going to do. Okay, put this back. I told you guys, this is pretty much a long video. Probably should have did a two-part. Okay, so I have some of um, the styrofoam. And I got more than this. I think I got three more rolls. Three more things. Of styrofoam so that will make it four I got this red truck ribbon I've got rubber bands but as you can see I started using it it 
it's almost over guys i promise you the 50 pearls that i just showed you guys in the ziploc bag i bought two of those which is why one is in the ziploc bag i bought four of these trees for diy i can't wait for you guys to see it so there's four of them i bought uh, two of these. I don't know where the other ones. They're in other bags, I'm sure. But I bought this little brush. Besides the fact I love the silicone brush. And I use it for Thanksgiving and um, Christmas and j j summertime. Because it's a good brush to brush your butter on for your yeast rolls and stuff like that. Um, and then for your barbecue sauce. Um, when you do your... Uh, cookouts. I have two of these spatulas because I absolutely use these at all times. I use them for everything and I needed some new ones for the Christmas cookies that I'll be baking. I got glitter on it and that's going to be hard to get off. But I have two of those. I bought this book. It's the best of relish. They started selling magazines, some of them. And it has Christmas cookie recipes. And um, I have an upcoming collaboration um, that I am hosting. So you guys stay tuned for that. It's a Christmas cookie exchange. That's one of them that I have upcoming. Okay, so I was in the section, the book section, and I found these cookbooks. So this one is Winter Celebrations. I love it. It drew me because of the cover, actually. Then I went inside. I like to look at books that have pictures. And this one does. So I like it. I'm guilty of it. Several different things. Now, a lot of this stuff I probably would never fix. But it could sit in the kitchen on a stand for, you know, whenever I have company over, they could sit while I'm cooking at the table and look at that book. Uh, if they may find something in it. And then I have Everyday Fancy uh, book. Okay. And, you know, I opened the book. And there's some good things in here that I would probably make. Or if I didn't make it, someone in my family would. So, again, these are like, you know, you have your coffee table books. Well, this is my kitchen table books. We're almost done, guys. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so like I told you, I have three of these. Here's the other two. I'm trying to keep it from shedding because you know these things shed a lot. So here you go. A stab. Ooh, trying to get this stuff off of me. Okay, so I bought um Four of these candy cane wreaths going to be busy. Stay tuned for that DIY. Okay, so like I told you, I bought four of them. Here's the other three. I also have two coffee mugs, insulated ones. I bought these for my husband and my son because they both like to drink. Uh, coffee in the morning on the way to work so I got them these that they can carry with them uh, to work I have this sign that everybody's been looking for I found one I've yet to find another one I've seen these when um, Craft Today with Rita Renee posted it and I wanted to find them, so I went to go look for them and found them. I bought two of these, and I'm going to go back because this would work in my den. So I'm going to go back, and I probably will grab a couple more. I'm not 1,000% sure because I really feel like two would be enough for the purpose that I intend to use it. Okay. So, I bought these little gold balls as well. And this is 16 piece. So, that gives me red, silver, and uh, gold of these. 16 pieces, as you well know. 
And then I bought these, which is also 16 pieces. And they are the sparkly or glittery, and then they are the shiny, and then the matte, like the disco ball type shine to it. I bought me some more of these um, stockings and bell. And here's another reindeer ornament. Um, another car ribbon. Yeah. And then I found this plaque that says Happy Holidays. And I liked it from the Dollar Tree. I really thought it was cool. And I'm pretty much going to leave it that way. I may paint this red. I'm not sure. I might just leave it this way. I'm not a thousand percent sure yet. But stay tuned. Either way, you'll know. Last but not least, guys, this is the last bag. So, I got these mugs. I love them because, once again, I'm a hot chocolate drinker. And I buy a whole bunch of tumblers. Trust me. I, I love these. I love them. And you will see me with them a lot. And here's the other brush, like I said. Um, you will see me drinking out of these a lot when you start, when I start doing some shop with me videos and things of that nature. Um, my son wanted some toothbrushes, so he got some toothbrush. He took the toothpaste. He bought some of that too. This is a stencil brush, but back to this. I love it because as you can see the detail on it, it is a coffee, see, see my, the chocolate mug or coffee, or whatever you plan to have in your mug. And then I love the fact that it has the red truck uh, that is with the children on the back of the truck. Let me see if you guys can see that. Yeah, and they are picking up their tree, and I just love it. I just love anything Christmas anyway, so it's very bad for, bad for me. I bought a saw. I bought a saw, a hand saw for crafts. I bought two packs of this parchment paper, which I'm going to go back and get more because I absolutely love parchment paper. It is great for wrapping up salmon, fish, vegetables. Not only is it good for baking, but it's also good for those things. If you want to make a parchment paper, salmon, whatever, this is great. Or a piece of chicken with parchment paper is great also. So... Oh, guys, you know what? I forgot about these behind me. Hold on. So, I have one, two, three of the baby blankets that's in Buffalo Check, gray and white. And let me tell you something. I used one of these for a DIY. Yeah, I did. So, you guys stay tuned for that video because I'm going to post a video. I'm actually going to make... A miniature size it's not so big but somewhat smaller than the one that I did make and then I have one two three four five six seven of these because that's all I could find I love this first of all okay and I'm gonna figure out a way when I do a DIY with this to try to keep this tassel on some of it. But I got these to make DIYs with it. And you guys will see what that is. So my news that I want to announce for this week uh, is a couple of things. But you know what? I think I'm going to do another video because you guys have stuck around long enough to have seen everything I bought from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I'm getting ready to blank. I'm going to... I'm calling Rita and tell her, it's your fault, sis. You sent me to the Dollar Tree. You did a video and got me involved at the Dollar Tree. That's how we gonna leave it. It's all on you, boo. Love you, Rita. Anyway, I would like to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out Miss Cheryl's place and seeing what it is she's up to. If you like the content of this video and this is your first time seeing a video of mine, please subscribe, hit that bell. And so you will know about more videos and content that I post. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Do it because it's free and it's fun. And you'll be able to see some things that's going on at Miss Cheryl's Place. 
Also, I would like to thank all of my old subbies. You guys are the best. I don't know how I could have gotten as far as I've gotten because of you guys. I am at 241 subscribers. Yay! And that puts me a little bit closer to my 500 mark. And I really, really want to do this by the end of 2019 uh, to be able to have 500 subscribers. So, if you like what you see, subscribe. I appreciate you. Also, guys, you have the best. I don't know what I would do without you guys, really, truthfully. Also, I would just want to say this is not goodbye, but this is see you in the next video. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.